It's almost impossible. In fact, it is impossible for a kid to grow up in America right now without constant exposure to screens. Not only are children addicted to smartphones, but the schools, public schools especially, are filled with laptops, tablets, and online homework. Why? Because Silicon Valley pushed that on our schools. They're profiting from it. You know what they don't want? That garbage in their own kids' schools. According to the New York Times, tech elites are keeping screens out of their children's schools and teaching them to play with real toys instead of digital ones. Why? Because they know screens are poison. They should know they make them. Tom Kirsting is a licensed psychotherapist, author of the book Disconnected, How to Reconnect Our Digitally Distracted Kids. Tom, I know that you remember very well, and maybe some of our viewers will too, it was only five or six years ago that all the dumb people, the fad adherents, were telling us the most important thing we could do was to put iPads in every school in America and our kids would magically get brilliant. This was a lie pushed by Apple, and they all believed it. What do we now know? About we, that. we now know that that is absolutely false. Um, something I've been lecturing about for 10 years, I've been going yeah. out there, you know, stomping the ground, trying to get parents to really see what's happening, what this stuff is doing to kids' brains, how that is affecting their kids' emotions, why we have so much anxiety and depression, why the suicide rate is through the roof. And now you have the tech execs in Silicon Valley that are actually preventing their own children from using these devices. And when I saw that piece, I was thrilled to hear that because maybe now, you know, we can educate other parents that aren't as aware as these Silicon Valley tech execs are. But, I mean, Philip Morris executives never gave Marlboros to their own kids. Right, so right, right. I guess this shouldn't surprise us. What surprises me is that none of the people selling this garbage to our children, marketing it to them, pushing on them through their schools where they have to obey, are ever held accountable for what they've done. Why is that? I, it's, it's unbelievable. It's got to be, it ha, must have something to do with behind the scenes lobbying and special interests and things of that nature. Now, these tech execs, if you read, if you read some articles on it, uh, there's a, lo, a large amount of students that go to the Waldorf schools out in Silicon yes. Valley. And those schools do not allow any form of electronic devices. It's all paper and pen learning. And I think in one of them, 70% of the students in one of those schools are the sons and daughters of Silicon Valley tech execs. So they, they know things that the average parent out there doesn't know, and I'm glad we're having this discussion right now. But they sell the products anyway. They sell And they anyway. don't alert the rest of us. And right. school district after bovine school district continues to believe the technology is the key to education, and they never warn anybody about the threat that they clearly perceive. Right. And, and I work at a school during the day for 22 years, in addition to being a psychotherapist. And the biggest thing that we're trying to get a handle on is the mental and emotional well-being of our children. So yes. 23 years ago, it was really more about education. You'd have a school counselor that would help kids with their schedules. Now it's, it's part mental health and part education under the public school umbrella. How many, since this is your world, how many educators do you run into who really understand the magnitude, the imminence of this threat to kids from well, technology? The educators that I run into, that I speak with, they see, they know it anecdotally because they see it, you know, firsthand in front of them every day. But what they need to do is read more. Like my book really underscores everything with yes. statistics to back it. Um, we need to get out. We need to get parents out there hearing experts like myself discuss the ramifications, not just mental health, but also the family system. Um, yeah. You know, when you look at families nowadays, it's sort of, I, I liken it like this, an average family of four is really more like four individuals living a solitary life under the same roof staring at a screen. Exactly. But by the way, people can't read anymore because their brains have been trained to read 50 words at a time by the iPhone. Yeah. Their brains have been destroyed. All of sure. ours have been. Yep. We're going to look back on this moment and say, I can't believe we were so passive in the face of something Absolutely. that was killing us. You better believe Tom, it. Tom, thank you very much. Thank you, Tucker.